tenor saxophone. Nice one, man. Nice one. And then we had Stan Watkins on alto saxophone. He had a solo. And then we had George Ellis back on trombone. Yeah. Then we had Barry Zimmer back on trumpet. Speaking of trumpet, since I'm back there, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce the rest of the, the, rest of the band to you on uh, First trumpet back, our leader Byron Smith. How about a hand for him? Then our businessman, fourth trumpet, Rick, Rick Peters. And then we got James Hillman on fourth trumpet. And then on trombone, we got Jerry Rodriguez. And then on third trombone, we got Bob McGovern. And then we have Marvin Young on the fourth trombone. And um, you already met, you already met these other two gentlemen on the end. And I'm going to say Ron Marthal, first alto, lead us up. And Kenny Bowman, Kenny Bowman on tennis saxophone. And then we had Mark Trudenzi on bass. And then we have Howard Jacobs on piano. And we have Edwin Cooper back on drums. Ooh. And we got Bess Taylor here on Congo drums. All right. All right. Uh, and then we got Todd, we got our music director, Todd White, on big old, big old. saxophones. Big and little. <laughs> and yours truly, Curtis and Bob. Yeah. OK, we're going to do a thing that was We are ready to let it roll. All right. Here we go. One. Two, one, two, three, one. Let's have some fun. 
everybody. The town was in town. He got down the quarter, ran the clown. Don't let you know that. Play a street. We got 50 cents more than we are. All right. 
Mars, ladies and gentlemen, back at the Chicken Shack. And we had a tennis, uh, we had a, a, so, a solo from Howard Jacobs on piano. And we had a solo from Kenny Bowman on the tennis section. And now we'd like to meet, feature our biggest saxophone player of the evening. His name is in the world. His name is Todd White. He has two saxophones up here, the two of the biggest saxophones in the world. How about a hand for him? He's playing a country bass saxophone and a subcountry. Both of these are German made instruments that were made for our hand, right? And they were imported into this country for a lot of money. And I was trying to teach him, uh, uh, tell him that I wanted to uh, maybe trade one in one day for a car. <laughs> That'd be evil. I give him my car for one of his horns. He's going to play a song called Rainy Sunday. And here's Todd White.
He's playing the subcontract, the element of the country. Okay, how many people remember the great Motown years of the 60s? The Temptations and the World Tops and all of them. And uh, we got a medley. We're going to do the, what we call the Motown medley. And uh, we hope you all remember some of these things. Hope y'all ain't got too old for some of these things in the 60s. I forgot all about them. But here we go with the Motown Met. Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two.
by my friend Willie Smith, who's a pastor on, he's uh, my arranger. He's been a ranger of mine for over 30 years, and he wrote Motown then before me. And uh, we're going to do one with him by the great Joe Williams. Uh, this one's called It's All Right. It's okay. You won the day, Kwan, so it's your day. All right? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do this, uh, it's all right, it's okay, you win today. Okay, go, one, two, oh, one, two. of our elders. So I need to know if anyone in the house is 85 or older? 85 or older? Okay, do we have anyone 90? Okay, anyone over 90? Well, for that, I'll walk to you. Wow. Can we give her a hand? Right. May I have your permission to go forward with this program? My permission to go forward. Praise God. Can you give me your full name? Mary B. Alexander. And how old are you? 91. Can you give her a hand? Thank you. Of our elders to go forward. 91 years, she, she can handle it, huh? We all can jump to that. Okay, at this time, I'd like to call forward Valerie McMillan to give us a prayer and lead us in this occasion. 
boom, I can come to you too. Happy Kwanzaa, everyone. If we would just bow our heads for a moment so that we can give thanks to God for this wonderful and festive occasion. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us here safely. We thank you, Lord, for this community of people that have come out today to just celebrate our heritage. I ask that you cover this program, Lord, and that you allow it to continue to grow and stretch, and that we will raise up the children to carry this mission forward. We thank you for all of the hands that have been involved, all of the volunteers, all of the leaders that have put on the production that we're about to uh, embark upon. And I just ask that you will bless each and every family of this room right now, Lord. You know their hearts inside and out, that you will fulfill the desires of their hearts and of their families, and that we will be united as a community, that you will cover our health, you will cover our travels, and most importantly, you will cover our children. Yes, yes, yes. We thank you today for this opportunity because after all, it's really only about you. And we thank you in Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. Sorry, I left out one, one important thing. We pray and we also thank the band, the Townsend Orchestra, for coming out as they do every year to bless us with their talent, their skill, and their ability to entertain. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you my mom, Patricia McMillan. She'll do our welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. Are we having a great time yet? Yeah. Well, I can only tell you that it's going to get better. Okay. I welcome you here tonight, and this is a really, really um, special occasion because we will not be celebrating in this hall next year. We really don't know where we'll be, but wherever Mr. Ivy is, if he will have us, that's where we'll be. Um, we have been blessed to be here for, so, for a number of years, maybe four years, and it's always been very good. He's a kind man, and um, he has helped us with this concert. We partnered with him. So this celebration is from our hearts to you. Yes. It's about our heritage. It's about our, our, us feeling really good about ourselves. It's about coming together in unity as we should. It's about never ever forgetting the struggle. You heard it said that it takes a village to raise a child? Yes. Well, that is true. It also takes all of us participating in that village. The other thing is that we must tell our story. The children will never know if we never tell them that we are descendants from kings and queens and that we have made many contributions in this country. Some of them have been acknowledged, some of them have not. But it's up to us to make sure that our children know where they came from, where they are, and where they must go. And so tonight I welcome you in the spirit of unity. And I challenge you, if we're not around, that each one of you Teach our children 
all it takes is each one to teach one. So we welcome you tonight, and we have a craft, a family craft, which I'm going to, I believe I'm going to introduce it here. Uh, I, the, the leader is a little late, but you might have seen the television show on Channel 8, and it's a wreath. So we have a kit that we will give to each family member, and they can either do it here after we show you how, or you can take it home and do it at your leisure. But we just want you to know that this is Azawadi gift. Azawadi gift. So you're going to make it, and you will enjoy it. Thank you so much. Enjoy. At this time, we have as many youth as we can possibly have to start us off in a wonderful march. Mr. Frank Ross will be the lead, and he will speak about this national march. So please listen carefully, and you will learn something. Thank you. Avari Ghani. Sante. Today, I um, had the opportunity for probably the 30th time leading a very special march. There is a very old dance called the Grand March that has been the unity dance of the Greater Cleveland Kwanzaa Alliance for about 25 years. So, I've done pre-Kwanzaa this year, just did one in Toronto, Canada. Did a pre-Kwanzaa last week, this is my first Kwanzaa tonight. I'm gonna to do one with the Macmillan family on the 30th. But the reason I do it is because I know that every culture celebrates themselves with a great unity cultural folk dance. If I ask my Jewish friends, what is their great unity folk dance? They will reply, the horror. Usually the music is Haba Nagila. If I ask my Italian friends for over 200 years, what has been your unity dance? Without a doubt, they will say the Tarantella. And if I asked my Polish friends and Czechoslovakian friends, what is your unity dance? They will say the polka. And if I ask African Americans, what is your unity dance? You know what many will say? Erroneously, the electric slide. Now, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. For over 30 years, I have traveled this country writing books. Two were bestsellers on straightening this nonsense out. The only dance that represents the dignity, heritage, and tradition of people of African descent is the Grand March. It goes all the way back to ancient Egypt, and I can prove it. I won't do it tonight, but I will like to teach you four basic steps in this beautiful, beautiful march. You know, dance is talked about 21 times in the Bible. I'm going to quote you a scripture. I will build you up and then rebuild you, O virgin Israel. Now go and join in the dance of the, of the merrymakers. That's in Jeremiah. So you are supposed to dance to celebrate. But it's a different type of dance. This march is talked about in our African American national hymn. It's really not our national anthem. That's something else that is wrong. That has to be straightened out. It was written by James Walden Johnson and his brother as the national hymn of African Americans, not the national anthem. Our country only has one national anthem. True or false? Okay, so let me preach now. In one of the verses of that song, doesn't it say, facing the rising sun, let's east towards Africa. Of our new day begun, let us march on to victory is won. And the Grand March is the actualization of let us march on to victory is won. There's songs about the march. When I looked at Nelson Mandela's funeral, do I have two minutes? Okay. When I looked at Nelson Mandela's funeral, I was envious of those South Africans. 
because they know all of their cultural dances and they were doing them on television. And the greatest unity dance in South Africa is called the Toy Toy. It is a protest celebration dance. It looks like you're running in place. And I can tell you that there's no activity where you can unite more people than dancing because we all can't sing, but we can pretend that we're dancing, okay? This powerful grand march should be used at all African-American weddings, celebrations, family reunions, the way the other cultural groups do. Problem is we haven't been able to get it on television. But as I travel around for over 30 years doing this, more and more African-Americans are using it at their weddings, family reunions, Kwanzas, and social events. So this evening, I don't have too much room out here, but I will try to move that one table in the front there, and I think I can get at least 50, 60 people out here in a line and lead you in four basic steps in this powerful, powerful march that has the history, traditions, and spirit of African Americans. Are you all ready to march this evening? Yes. Yeah, are you sure you're ready to march? Oh, yeah. Okay, when I call you out, I'm gonna ask the men to line up behind me, and the ladies will line up on their right side, and we will start this grand march, but it's disciplined because you're representing a proud, noble people, okay? So I'm going to come out in the middle of the floor, and when the music stops, Mr. DJ, please just play it again. It'll take maybe four minutes to do it, and then I'll be out of y'all's way. But <clears throat> when you see this march, try to do it at your family reunions. Ask African Americans to do it at their weddings. It is very, very unifying. You ready to march? Yes. Okay, and when we get through, I do have some booklets for sale that talk about the National African American Folk Dance, not the electric slide, the Grand March. Sure. Okay. All right, Keish, would you come up? Now, don't be nervous, anybody. I have to do all the work, so please come up and join in with us. This is how it's done. The men are on the right, the ladies on the left. So I need about 50 or 60 people to come out. It's easy. I wouldn't give you anything to do this hard. If I put the electric slide or the wobble on you, I will come out. Come on out of here. You know I'm telling the truth. Okay, now it's like this. You need a partner. It's easy. It is unifying. It's our culture. So I'm just going to do some basic steps. I can't do the complicated ones, but I'll do the best I can. Can we get through it? <laughs> they can join in with us. Can they line up behind us? Yeah, children, come on out and line up behind us in twos. Yes. Yeah, they can come out in twos and just lock arms with a partner like this. They can put, okay, if they want to, they can put their Kwanzaa signs down right there and just pick them up when they get through. I'll keep it simple, but you'll feel the rhythm. Is my line straight? Oh, you all look wonderful. I see you, Rev. You all look wonderful. I'll keep it simple. But if you ever see us do it in a large hall, the gymnasium, there's about 40 steps. They're beautiful. But I'm going to do this a simple, basic grand march. Okay, when we pass, the children can just join in with us. I hope I have enough room to squeeze by those tables in the back. I'll see. Okay, Mr. DJ, it should be number one on there. That's it. Everybody ready? March, left foot. That's the rhythm. The rhythm is made with your feet. I can't hear your feet. The National Dance of African Americans. The Grand March. Not the electric slide. I can't hear your feet. Now you sound good. Now you sound proud. You are a marching people. Civil rights marches, million man marches. I never heard of an electric slide march. 
Oh, I'm picking on that because some people watch, will even argue with me about that. Wrong as they can be. All right, the second step in the grand march, I say grand, it's called a half step. Got to show off a little bit now. That's a half step. Think I was stiff, huh? This guy's just talking about some old stiff mark. Oh, no. That's the half step. All right, I hear you all. That's the half step. Next is a side step. That's the side step. Those of you from the South know about Usher's Day in the churches in the South. They grand marked on Usher's Day. You know I'm telling the truth. Now I'm going to see who can follow directions. Keisha, you're going to go real slow. You're going to take your line that way and turn. Turn right now. Okay, you're going to go straight down. The men follow me, the ladies follow Keisha. That's right. And if the children get lost, please help the children. The lines are just separated. That's all. Oh, you all look good. You all make me feel good. Look at the show on off. Fred Queen. Or Grand Super Power. Okay, Mr. Giants. Hello, Doc. You all look good. Now, when you get down there, children, the lines are going to separate. One line goes, Keisha's way the other goes mine. You all look wonderful. Don't forget, you got to pay attention. You know who that is speaking, don't you? Was he a marcher? Was he a marcher? I didn't say Dr. Stroud. I thought Dr. King was a marcher. Thank you. Now, when you get to the end, you join with your partner. Oh, you all look great. This is proud, dignified, represents a noble people. I believe I hear Dr. King speaking on this. Thank you. Mr. John Adams, free of week. March. No more sides, still, just March. Happy <laughs> Stay with your boy. sophisticated march. I'm going to keep it simple. This is a single file grand march. Put one hand on the person in front of you's shoulder and march. One hand. One hand. Don't break the line. We don't want to do the lecture slide. We want to touch somebody. Don't break the line. Wait for them, please. Let them touch. We want unity. Everybody got to touch somebody. Now you look good, the young and the old mark. Three, four generations. You all look good. Got a touch, got a touch, shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder, got a touch. This is not freestyle, this is unity. Umoja. Everybody's touching the Umoja. Now, for those of you who wonder where stepping comes from, don't debate me. It comes from a grand march. I'm just going to show you a little small step. Remember the college's step like that? It all comes from the grand march. That's a step. Can you check your shoulder? Thank you. Uh-oh, you all have rhythm. I like this group. Okay, Macmillan family, you all got some folks with some rhythm. 
Shoulder to shoulder, let's show some unity. Now I'm keeping it real simple. If I could show you the advanced steps, you all would really love it, those advanced steps, but I can't do it. It'd be very difficult to do those advanced steps. I need a lot of room. There's a march about 4, 8, 16, 32. I can't do it here. You all look good. Do I see some umoja here? What is your national dance? Don't say the electric slide on my run outside in the snow. Grand march. A grand people. A marching people. Okay, Keisha, just lead them around while we watch. I feel good about this march. Keisha's gonna lead you around. You all look wonderful. Now that's a simple grand march. I'll keep it simple this evening. Just interested in unity. Who knows you? But if you want to see some complicated steps, I've written about it in a booklet called The Grand March. You all look wonderful. Hear Dr. Martin Luther King speaking, those marching rhythms. But it's bad. It represents you. You like to see it? It's on YouTube. Look up Grand March National African American Folk Dance on YouTube. The Black Storytellers did it. It's also on uh, any site that says Grand March National African American Folk Dance. <laughs> I hear you got the team. Keisha, when they do it again, they can just have a seat that time. I like these generations, Mark. I like the unity that I see. You can't have unity unless you practice it. Thank you, thank you. The Grand March. Please don't forget it. Thank you. Good job, Frank, as usual, brother. Thank you.
This one is 30. I got five dollar prints over there. My father was bodyguard to Martin Luther King's father for six years. My father's in the Cleveland Police Museum. Lawrence Kraft Sr. I'm Lawrence Kraft Jr. Where? Now it is My name's in the middle. I'm the designer. I go. I designed this two years ago. It's stolen I go on the internet, but I don't care. I go. I go. It is time for us to. I go. We're going to give the um, townsmen a few more minutes because they're kind of packing up. And um, we want to give them a hand and thank them very much for entertainment. The Townsman Orchestra. Our next presentation will be Mr. Ross bringing forth our children. <coughs> what you will witness is our letter carriers our drummers, our candle holders, our flag bearers, and our hostess. So, they will march in. I go. We will march in with Ms. Roth. And we want you to give them a hand and give, our, give them a hand. These are our Kwanzaa letter holders. These are our children of all ages. We teach them early. Can our candle holders Switch. stay together there? Get a picture. There you go. And our candle right. needs to be over right there by Kwanzaa. There you go. Okay. Come right here. Come here, mommy. You got the candy. Stand right there. Okay. Hold it up. This way. All right. Hold them up. There we go. Okay. Now we're good, right? Oh, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> W, turn this way. There you go. Hold it up. Let me know if you get a letter. Okay, up high and move them over a little bit. There we go. Hey. Let's get positioned so the candle can stand right there, right here. So the candle can take it. Yeah. Yes. All right. Now take your letters on over. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That was funny. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Can we get our Kwanzaa letters to hand? Yeah. All right. Follow her. Go that way. All our Kwanzaa letters. Go that way. Thank you. Now we'll have our candle lighters. Let's put them in the right order. Red goes first. Let's go this way. Red. Black and green. Where's our green at? All on this end. Okay, and that's how you'll see them. Later. Oh, that's nice. Okay. All right, our flag holders. All right, can someone score the candle for us all? Thank you, girls. Can we give them a hand? Before you, our hostesses and flag holders. Okay. All right, those are our teenagers. Can we give them a hand? presentation. So all of our teens, and this Kwanzaa is really all about education. Amen. It's about education because one day those young people will be leading us. They'll be leading the Kwanzaa celebrations. They will be leading our country and this nation. So we want to make sure that they're clear about how to lead us and what it is that we are expecting of them. So some of them are more educated than others, but all of them have the right heart and want to be involved and they will be involved. Okay. Uh, we need all of our symbol. Okay. And at this time I'd like Teresa our elder to come forward, Teresa. Okay. All right, you all can sit right here in order, and when it's time. Sit in order of how you will be presenting. We have a special presentation for the symbol presentation. How are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, Keisha. Let you. I had a volunteer. The young lady said she was going to help me. What are you doing? Where's she at? Did she run away? Young lady. Young lady, please. I'm going to help you. Am I going to pick them up? Is that? tell you a story, you know, about your people, so that you will never forget for where you came from. Now, you have a rich history, and one that you should be very, very proud of. Oh, well, now let me get to the story. Let me get to the story. A long, long time ago, maybe about 40 years, there was this uh, man. Now, he was an educator. They called him Dr. Malane Karinge. Now, he was one of our people, a black man, an educator, and a doctor. Well, you know, one day he was having his vision, and in the vision he was looking back, and lo and behold, he saw these people, kings and queens, all sitting on thrones, all dressed up in their finery, like what I got on right here, like this. <laughs> 
the vision said, these are your ancestors. You are a direct descendant of kings and queens. These are your relatives. Now, he kept looking in the vision and he saw scientists and inventors and medical doctors, some of the people that's here right now. He said, now this is what could continue to happen if all the people stick together. Well, you know, even back then, he saw this tall, good-looking black man of African-American descent sitting in the White House. Can you believe that? Yeah. And lo and behold, a black man is running this country of America. Do you know who that man is? What's his name? Stop there, let me continue the story. He said, you know, what a great people we are. We should uh, celebrate our heritage, honor our ancestors, and revere our inventors. And why not have a day where we could celebrate all of their accomplishments? So the vision kept going and he said, let's name this celebration Alwanza. This is not a religious holiday, no, no. This is a cultural holiday. And Kwanzaa means first fruits, okay? Now, this is a cultural holiday, and it's for people that's so great and so royal, just like you, that it should take at least seven days for us to celebrate. Well, you know, today we just doing one day, you know, the McMillan did a lot of work here, they got all this for one day, so we just gonna do one day right now. Right? And he said, you know, there are seven symbols, and I think you wanted the symbols, right? Okay, and I think I see the rest of the symbols that's coming over there. So the, all the symbols get introduced. They said, yeah, it's going to take me time to get over there. <laughs> but, I, but I'm going to make it. Now these are symbols. They're going to introduce themselves. I had to memorize all that, y'all. I had to memorize all that. Okay, and they're going to introduce themselves. Okay, y'all stand up there for everybody. Y'all, who y'all is? Okay. We're going to ask them to say their name and the one symbol that they will find on the mantle or table. Kayla and the mat stands for tradition. And where will that be found at? On the table. Good job, good job. Okay. Who's next? So we have the mat. That will be found first, and second will be. Oh, second will be the order, which represents ancestry. Thank you. Tell them your name. Cyana. This is Cyana. Give her a hand, please. Hi, I'm Paige, and the symbol is Represented in this room? Seven. Is it seven or more? She just looks I don't know. But every child would be represented with a piece of corn. So we don't have all of that corn here, but. The president. Who are you? India. <laughs> the president represents a gift that we give our father that is homemade. Oh, all right. And there's one more thing that's missing. Can anybody tell us what else will be on the table? Oh. Anybody else? The fruit. We did the fruit. That's the crop. We did the candle. You do have one more. We have one more thing. I know what it is. You know, you, yeah. you know? I think it's the oh, cup. The it's the cup. It's the cup. The unity cup. Very important. Very important. Thank you. Yeah. See all that wisdom. Right. <laughs> Thank you. 
So the unity cup is used during libation. And so it symbolizes unity. Can you girls stand up and do a curtsy? <laughs> They'll do a bow. All right, can we give them a hand? Didn't they do a wonderful job? They're so color coordinated. Thank you. So if nothing else, they'll remember their particular symbol. That's how it starts. All right, without further ado, we will request for our elders to come forward. And this one is my elder. <laughs> Hello again. Hello. We will introduce Yes. Our little drummers can play. Yeah. We're about to introduce the Inclusive Saba principles. And those are the seven candles here that the young ladies were talking about. The first one is Mojo. Will all of our elders come out, please? These are our, these are our queens. All adorned in their robes. We like the black candle to represent unity. African Americans share a heritage of strength, a bond of trust, and a singleness of mind to enrich their lives and to enrich society. Kujishakalia. In Swahili, it means self-determination. We light the red candle representing self-determination. We exhibit an unyielding pursuit of our goals with shining examples of persistence, commitment, and consistency. Ijama. We light the green candle to represent collective work and responsibility. As a people, we know how to work together to show responsibility and respect through our actions and to improve our present condition and the condition of society. to represent cooperative economics. We will support black-owned businesses, organizations, and institutions that reflect the needs, goals, and aspirations furthering our legacy as a people. represent purpose. 
we're reminded that we are descendants of a great people with a strong sense of purpose to thrive and survive. We light the red candle to represent creativity. We know that what makes us unique allows us to develop our own individual style, using our talents, skills, intelligence, and imagination to invent and encourage one another. We will walk taller, smile wider, and dream bigger. like to give the ladies, the elders, a hand for bringing forth these seven principles. We plan on living by every day of the community. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. We're going to hold our libation to after our feast.